What is going on guys, Vin Vin here, bringing you another Gears of War Judgment Commentary, this time on the map Library. Uh, this is the special event where you get a rifle of your choice and uh, the shotgun or whatever shotgun of your choice that you happen to want to use. Uh, I don't think you get two rifles, but yeah, I think it's just rifle of your choice and a shotgun, but whatever, and uh, I apologize for that stupid melee kill. I just found that uh, in that situation right there, it was either I was going to melee or get killed, so fuck it. I made that choice accordingly. But today, I wanted to talk about um, some of my gaming background, I guess, and, uh, you know, like what kind of games I'm into now, why I'm into those games and such. So, I started gaming when I was about maybe four to six years old, and I think my very first console was the PS1, and I... I had a very uh, profound love for that console because um, I got to experience many, many, many different types of games. I mean, at first I didn't really have a lot of games. Like, my mom, she would go out, and I have no idea where she would find these, but she would specifically go out and buy these demo discs. And I don't know where she found <laughs> only demos, you know, to bring back. I don't know how, how she did this because I don't know, like... If, she, if we had some kind of a magazine subscription that offered it. But either way, she would just bring us demo discs. Like, all the time. And I just never knew where she found them. But they, um... They opened me up to a bunch of games, you know, growing up. And, um... One of those games that I played in said demo discs was the Metal Gear Solid demo. And that's kind of why I'm very into the Metal Gear Solid series nowadays. When I first started playing that demo, I had no idea you know, what the strategy of the game was, I only knew after watching it that, like, the objective was to not get caught. So, you know, I thought to myself, okay, well, if I get caught, the game is probably going to end. So I remember popping in that game and literally sitting in the very first, like, spawn area that you get in the game for, like, literally a half an hour just wondering how these guys are not going to see me. Because this is when I was younger. I just assumed that everything in the video game was going to be tailored to like kind of like a real life experience so i assumed okay if, th if i walk out no matter where i am this guy is going to see me i had no um thought in my mind that this guy only had a limited range of vision so i literally sat in that one spot for like a half an hour just like anxiously waiting for him to be gone so i could finally make a move and then by the time i finally make a move i get caught anyway and you know whatever i end up losing but, uh, like I said, PS1 was my first console, and, um, I also remember a game, I don't remember the exact name of it, but, um, it had, like, these robots or whatever, and it was like a fighting game, it was cool, it was kind of like the game Power Stone on the Dreamcast, except, um, I guess not as good, but it was a very fun game, and I remember me and my brother would always play that game, you know, it was... It was like an extremely fun game. I can't remember. If you know the name of that game by any means, let me know what it is, you know? And so um, I played games like that on the PS1. But for the most part, my PS1 experience was mostly Metal Gear, you know? I played that game in and out, in and out, and did every single little thing you could do in the game. And um, that was just my favorite series of all time. Then there was also... I'm just remembering this right now. And this was another favorite series of mine that I kind of wish they would bring back and not have it suck. But I don't really foresee that. Um, if you've ever heard of the Medieval series, that was a freaking great game. And that was another game that I played off of those demo discs that my mom used to get. And that game was about... Um, you were like this medieval knight or something like that, and then you died in combat, but then this, like, witch brought you back to life, and so you had to, like, uh, I don't know, you had to find her and kill her or something like that. I can't even remember the exact, you know, play out of the storyline, but it was just a good game. Like, it was solid. It had, like, a lot of puzzle elements. It had nice, fun action. It was just a great game. And, um, slowly but surely, you know, we moved up. We moved up to a PS2. And then PS2 is where I got into, like, a bunch of different types of games, you know. There was obviously the Metal Gear 2, 3 that came out on PS2. But then I got into fighting games. Like, well, I was already kind of into Mortal Kombat as um, a younger child. But I think the only Mortal Kombat that existed on PS1 was Trilogy. I don't remember any Mortal Kombats that came out other than Trilogy. 
but Trilogy was my favorite of the Mortal Kombat games. It had the biggest selection of characters, and uh, look at here, I tried to get cheeky and just <laughs> knew he wasn't looking, but I cleaned up the kill. Yeah, it had the biggest selection of characters, and it had like the most fun storyline, I want to say, of the Mortal Kombats back in the day, until like the newer ones started coming out. But um, one thing I find, let's just forget the gaming history, I guess, for right now. I'll go back into that another time when I can actually think of more games. But, like, one thing I find to be very important in gaming is, you know, the implementation of an immersive storyline. You know, every game should have a single-player experience that is notable, you know? Every, um, like, this is what I'm sorry about going back again, but, like, the Metal Gear series. Every single one of those games, for the most part, is a single-player game. And they've just recently started trying to put in, you know, multiplayer elements. But each of those games, regardless of the fact, has a very good storyline. Granted, Metal Gear is ridiculous with their cutscene choice and the amount of time each cutscene takes. I mean, like, literally, like, when you beat Metal Gear Solid 4, um, it's like an hour and a half before you finally get to restart a new game or whatever. <laughs> but it's very important for me for games to have, like, single-player elements and, um... I think the game is wrapping up here, and yes it is, so I'll continue this in another commentary, probably tomorrow. Uh, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Be sure to check out my previous videos, it's always free to subscribe, you guys know that. And um, just show me some support guys, and alright, have a nice day. Peace!